collecting manga can be really daunting. As you know, there's a lot of series out there, everything's really long, um, and it's really important to decide what you're going to invest your time into. A series of 70 plus books could take you a long time to read. So here's a list of four books that are really short, they're one-off series, and it's something that you can get under your belt, you can dive into, and it's not going to cost you a fortune. Hope you enjoy. So number one on the list is All You Need Is Kill. Some of you might be familiar with this, others might not be. If the art looks familiar, then it was created by the people, the team behind Death Note and Bakuman, which you can see here in the corner. You can tell I'm a fan. Um, so really, really solid artwork, really great story. It's based, there's also been a film made off this. So it was an originally a, night, a light novel. Uh, they made a film with Tom Cruise, you might have seen it. It's called The Edge of Tomorrow. It's an okay film. This is way better. So this is a manga adaptation of the light novel with art drawn by the artist for Death Note, but it wasn't actually written by the author of Death Note, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's a really great series. You should definitely check it out. It's about um, this guy who's called Keiji Kiria um, on the cover. So he's fighting a war against aliens. And then when he dies, he suddenly realizes that the day starts all over again. And he's got infinite lives to spend until he can somehow work out how to kill this alien invasion and win the war. Um, and he's got a lot of help on the way. There's some really, really cool uh, mech suits and battle scenes and some really cool deaths, which some of them hold some weight, some of them don't because obviously he keeps coming back to life. But yeah, look at that. It's great. Um, and I think this cost me roughly £10 in the UK and you're getting quite a lot for your money and you only need to read it once and it looks great on the shelf, it looks really slick. So yeah, all you need is kill, check it out. So number two on the list we have Uzumaki by Junji Ito. So some of you might be familiar with this author, he's really well known for horror. Uh, this is a fantastic read. Uh, I know what some of you are going to say in the comments, but have you read this one? Have you read that one by Junji Ito? I'm sure they're all really good. I've personally only read this one so far, and I loved it. Um, so it's all it all revolves around spirals in this series. So everything's spiral related, but in the most creepy way. So people become deformed in like these horrific spirals. I don't know how much of this I can show on YouTube. Um, let me just find a bit that's not too savage. So... You get, um, so that's pretty cool. So everything revolves around spirals. Uh, if someone died, got cremated, and all their ashes became spirals. Um, someone becomes obsessed with spirals. Um, someone's face kind of caves in on itself and becomes a spiral. I don't want to say any more. I just think you should definitely check this out. It's really creepy. Um, I've found that. You can either binge read it or you can read it in chapters because every chapter's got its own little theme, its own little focus on its own little character. So yeah, this is a great read and it cost me £18 in the UK. I'm pretty sure you can find this cheaper online. And it's really great quality, it's hardback, um, there's some nice colour pages in there. And yeah, Junji Ito, Master of Horror, defo check it out. So number three... Uh, probably my favourite manga author of all time, uh, Inio Asano, and it's Solonin. So, there are better series by this author, in my opinion, but I think as a jumping off point, this is probably the best you're going to get. So, it focuses around Miko. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. She's a college student. Uh, she hates her job, and one day she just decides to quit her job and... Um, convince her boyfriend to start up his band and um, pursue her dream, I guess. So it's a really great, inspiring series. Uh, Inio Asano is a master author. He properly creates these wonderful characters that really draw you in. Um, this is one of his earlier works and it did win an award. The character designs are pretty nice. They're not the best. This is more of a slice of life series. I guess you're not going to really um, see much action if what you're after is action it's more of a slice of life um, but 
it's a really great read. It's really short. Again, uh, it cost me, I think, I think I got this pre-owned on eBay for about five pounds. So you can find it pre-owned. It's definitely worth picking up. Um, I'm going to do a video, a later video on Ineo Asano and some of his other works, which I think are personally better and you should definitely check those out as well. But if you just want something really great and a bit more lighthearted to read and um, something that you can just lose an afternoon in, then Solonin is your bet. So the last one on my list, it might not be a surprise for some of you, uh, but it really took me by surprise and it's a really, really short read and it's The God's Lie. So as you can see, it's very, very short, but there is a lot of story packed into this. So this revolves around two sixth graders. Um, one of them uh, bunks off school or bunks off a summer camp and spends the summer with this girl here. And I can't tell you any more without spoiling it, but it was really great. It's, um, it's another slice of life series. It's very light. It's very fun. Uh, the character designs are really cute. But for the price... Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this, but I, I think it's under £10 or under £20. It's a really nice feeling cover uh, by Vertical, and it's really, really good quality. And I was just blown away by this. I started it in an afternoon, and I finished it within a couple of hours, and I was just left there thinking about it for the rest of the day. I, I really couldn't um, recommend it higher. So, yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, that's The God's Lie. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the list, as you can tell I'm really new to this, this is probably the first ever video that I've ever recorded, um, so go easy on me, if there's anything that you really want to see then comment in the box below and make sure to like and subscribe.